Hi, I'm Fawn Chambers Watkins. And I'm Derek Fawns with Bentley Watkins. And, and we, we support, support Ending, Ending Violence, Violence Against, Against Women, the HBCU Project. You know, I think we really have to start in our communities and in having conversations, roundtable conversations, um, outreaches, conversations among parents and friends, to, for first of all, to kind of revamp the understanding of the purpose of relationship in the first place. That's good. And I think a lot of times we've deduced and made dating into this thing that's just kind of like this fun thing, just go out, you're having fun, and just have fun, have fun, have fun. And you miss the purpose of it because the purpose of the dating is to find out necessary information to see if this person is a viable mate for you. Amen. So if you're going through with missing the purpose, something that um, if you don't understand the purpose of something, misuse is inevitable because you don't understand why you have it. You know, like a, a hammer's job is to put a nail through a wall. You try to use it to open the door, you're going to destroy the door. So you have to understand why this person is in your life, what the purpose of this relationship is. And we have to start putting that foundation in one another, first of all. And then you deal with your individual purpose. And that whoever's coming into your life, whether it be romantically or friendship, is either going to be adding towards you moving closer to that purpose or taking away from it. And I think when we start implementing these core set foundational values, then inadvertently the way you conduct yourself in the dating process will shift and change. And you'll understand what, you know, for a man, why is she in your life? She's just not your eye candy. She has a value, she has purpose, she has a voice. She's someone else's daughter. So if you can begin to treat her how you would want the man that's gonna be there with your daughter, if you could begin to, to put that on yourself, I think we'll see actions change and behaviors change and reactions change. And then also people will have a, an understanding that when you, when you are understanding your value and your purpose, you will relinquish the need to control That's someone cool. else and how they affect you because you'll have your own solid foundation. Yeah. Um... I like to say I, I pride myself on being a Southern gentleman. Always have been, always will be. Can you go, son? I go, son. <laughs> Definitely. And we don't have moments, too, now. I mean, let's just keep it real now. Oh, but I think, yeah, you definitely grew up in a home where your mother and your father respected one another, and that was right. definitely. I ain't never shake you like that. You sure I ain't never shake you? Stop. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No. She be not shut me. It's the truth. What, what it is. None of it. <laughs>